Adding a bit of lettering to a garment is a great way to personalize it. Let's take a look at using the lettering tool in Design Shop. To create lettering or a lettering segment, select the lettering input method. Do that by clicking on the little A icon. As soon as I do that, I get this little propeller icon. This propeller icon usually represents the last stitch of the previous element to sew, um, but if nothing's on screen, it's going to show the origin. So this can help you kind of figure out where in your design you want to place your lettering. When you click, that's where you will be placing your lettering at least to start. You can move it later and a cursor will begin to flash. You at that point can then type on your keyboard whatever you want to put in there. When you're ready to complete the lettering segment, press enter on the keyboard to complete that lettering segment and you now have a lettering segment done. To access the properties of it, right click on it and go to properties. And you can access all sorts of lettering properties in here. About a third of the way down you're going to find the lettering box. And in this place you can type, you can correct spelling, you can change what you're doing, you can go back. If you hit Enter, it will act as a carriage return, so you can continue typing. When you hit apply, that will show on screen. Here I misspelled something, so I can go back into this box, put my cursor where I want to fix it, hit apply to see those changes take place. Hit OK, and now I've got this on screen. Let me delete this for a moment. If I select the lettering tool and I want to get to all of those properties first, I can click on screen where I want my lettering to be and I, without typing anything I can hit enter on my keyboard and it will take me directly to this object properties box. And in this case I can come right in, I can type whatever I want and hit apply to see it show up on screen. So there's a couple of different ways to do it. One, you can select on the lettering tool, click on screen, type whatever you want, hit enter to complete that element. The other way is to click on the tool, click on screen, and hit enter without typing anything and it will take you to that lettering object properties box. In that you can type whatever you want in there, use enter as if it was a carriage return so you don't have to worry about finishing your lettering segment early, um, and then hit apply and OK to have that show up on screen. There's one more trick I'd like to show you. When I am typing on screen, I can type what I want. If I want to have a carriage return, I can hold control when I hit enter and it will begin um, on another line. Hit enter to complete that shape or that uh, element. So now you are able to add lettering to any garment that you need and you've got a couple of different ways to do that with a lot of properties to look at in that lettering properties box and using that lettering tool.